There have been a lot of media reports about bullying and about kids who are gay or presumed to be gay being bullied and committing suicide. And there's been some research about these topics, but there hasn't been data in the United States looking at kids over time and seeing what's happening over time. So we interviewed over 4,000 fifth graders, and then we went back to them in seventh grade and again in 10th grade. And so we asked them in each of those grades whether they were being bullied, whether they were being victimized by peers. And then in 10th grade, we also asked about their sexual orientation. That way we were able to categorize kids into heterosexual and sexual minorities. And sexual minority is a term used for people who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, or in some other way don't fit into the standard heterosexual category. They may be questioning and unsure about their identity as well. And so what we were able to do with those data is to look back at fifth grade and seventh grade as well as 10th grade. And what we found is that the kids who were sexual minorities were more likely to report bullying at all three grades, in fifth grade, seventh grade, and 10th grade. And this was true for the boys and the girls. What was particularly striking in fifth grade, before most of these kids would even be aware of their own sexual orientation, their own identity, or the orientation of their peers, they're already being bullied more. That was, that really stood out. And it suggests that these kids, by the time they're in 10th grade, they've been bullied and bullied and bullied over many years. I think we need more research to understand what's going on with these kids, particularly in fifth grade. But nevertheless, we need to be aware of all this and that kids who are sexual minorities are more likely to be bullied.